Hi guys, welcome. I'm so excited today because today we're going to be tapping on how acne makes us feel unattractive. Like I feel like sometimes acne makes us feel bad about ourselves and we're like, oh my gosh, like I'm so unattractive. I'm ugly. No one is going to like me. I need to wear 50 gallons of makeup and all these things. Like like how, like our face, like that's the first thing people see like when they meet us. And it's like, it can be scary and just not feel very good when we have acne and it's like we almost feel like there's something wrong with us and so we're gonna work through some of that today so I am excited to guide you through this so if you are not hydrated I recommend picking your favorite water of choice water is amazing I love water <laughs> and okay so we're going to start on the side of the hand and you're just going to repeat after me So I have all this acne and I feel pretty unattractive. I maybe even feel ugly and maybe I even feel unlovable and that hurts and it sucks and I just want to feel better. I want to feel better about my skin. I want to feel better about myself. And I really just want to feel pretty. But it's hard because I don't feel that way. All of the pretty people with their clear skin get literally all of the attention. And then here I am, hanging out in the shadows, getting no attention, like I'm not special. And that hurts too. I really wish people could just see me for me and not see my acne. I feel slightly judged for having acne. And I'm tired of all of it. And I'm tired of feeling this way. So even though for the longest time, my acne has made me feel bad about myself, I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself anyways. And maybe I can begin to have some compassion for myself and for my skin because maybe I'm not very kind to myself and I am beginning to wonder if having clear skin is an inside job maybe it is and maybe it's not but I'm tapping on the side of my hand working through my emotions to figure it out so I'm on a clear skin exploration and I'm here for it all right let's take a deep breath in let it go. Wow, I feel like that even like brought up some things for me. So if you're feeling the feely feels, uh, you're not alone. <laughs> but don't worry, that was just the setup because now we're gonna go through a whole round. So hydrate, I highly recommend hydrating. Okay, so we're gonna start at the top of the head and you're just going to repeat after me. I'm so tired of having acne. It's like I've been cursed. Why don't I have the good skin genes? Because that'd be pretty cool. But unfortunately, my skin is angry. 
as am I. Because this is bullshit. And having acne makes me feel so bad about myself. And I'm tired of feeling bad about myself. I no longer want to feel unattractive. I no longer want to feel unlovable. And are there parts of myself that feel this way? Maybe it's not my acne feeling unlovable. Maybe it's my inner mean girl. Blaming my acne for the lies that she tells me. Lies such as I'm so ugly. No one will ever love me. I'm so unattractive. Maybe she tells me I'm hideous. And all of these things are lies. I really need to fire her. Because she just lies to me all the time. I wonder where my inner mean girl picked these lies up. It was probably somewhere from my childhood. And I choose to heal. The parts of me that have bought these lies. If my garage was full of all kinds of junk, at some point I'd have to clean out my garage. And maybe my brain is kind of like the same. All of these lies are a bunch of junk. And it's time to clean out my brain. It's time to actually fire my inner mean girl. And I want to choose better beliefs. Beliefs such as, of course I'm lovable. Of course I'm beautiful. Beliefs such as, people love me for me. People see me for me. My acne does not determine how other people treat me. That is my new belief. And if someone else doesn't comply, they don't get a spot in my life. Like there is no room for jerks up in here. Bye. Same with my inner mean girl. Bye. And I'm ready to start watching myself talk. I'm no longer going to tolerate my own bullcrap. And I'm done lying to myself. And I'm going to start being nice to myself. 
the things I say to myself, I'd never say to my best friend. So I need to start treating myself how I treat my bestie. Because I'm out here treating her like a queen, but neglecting myself and being a jerk to myself. And that stops here and now. I'm gonna start treating myself like a queen. And when I set new standards for myself, other people start to comply. They might try to push my boundaries for a second. But as I reinforce those boundaries and reinforce these standards to where they're my new normal, not only will I be unstoppable, but my skin will clear up too. Because I'll be unavailable to treat myself like crap and to let other people treat me like crap. Like, no thank you. Take your trash attitude elsewhere, please. I am only tolerating amazing things in my life. I am only tolerating amazing people in my life. And I'm only tolerating the best thoughts about myself. That is my new standard. That is how it is from now on. Because I deserve the best. And as I give myself the best, of course my skin will clear up. Because my body has so much wisdom in it. And it knows what it needs to do. But sometimes my thoughts get in the way. of my body functioning at optimal levels. So as I'm kinder and nicer to myself, my skin will no longer have to purge my jerkness. So yes, I'll have clear skin. And it might happen super fast. Or I might just have to practice a lot. Being kind to myself. But no matter how long it takes, I know it will be so worth it. So even though for the longest time, I've been a jerk to myself and told myself all these lies, I deeply and completely love, honor, and forgive myself anyways. And I am so thrilled for this new journey. I know it's going to be so worth it. Because I 
I'm amazing. And so it is. All right, take a deep breath in. Let it go. All right, I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> and I hope you're feeling better too. We kind of like dig into like the issue. And I really do think that like our inner mean girl convinces us, oh, you're so unattractive, you're so ugly. And then we start telling ourselves that. And it's like, bro, that's some fake news. I don't need it. You're fired. I am moving on with my life and I'm choosing to believe better things. So, you know, I really think that if we are kind to ourselves, that can just change our life. Like there's this, there was this experiment of like two plants and one plant got positive love and light to it. And the other plant um, was told mean things like, oh, I hate you, you suck, blah, blah, blah. And they're in the same environment, got the same food, the same water, the same whatever. And the plant that was told negative things, it started to wilt. But this plant over here, love and light, freaking thriving. And literally people are no different. We're pretty much house plants. So like your inner voice is so important. And I think we just convince ourselves of these lies and we don't even realize that we're telling ourselves these old stories that we're ugly, we're unattractive, we're unlovable, whatever. And it, like our body physically reacts to these old stories, these lies. So tell yourself new stories, your body is going to respond in other ways. So tapping is super helpful with basically just getting rid of the old crap, the old untrue stories and being like, hey, I want to believe new things. So thank you for doing this work. Like, I think it's so important and I'm so grateful that you're here on this journey and thank you for being here. Thanks for tapping away and working through your stuff and becoming better, essentially more free, just shedding the layers of the stuff that is so untrue <laughs> so that you can get to where you want to go. And in this case, clear skin. So I'm proud of you. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.